Making the best of a bad situation, the Jacksonville Zoo is on the long list of businesses closed because of COVID-19. The Weather Authority's Danielle Giuliano found out how the nonprofit organization is turning waste into a way to help the community as they hope for a boost in donations. The Jacksonville Zoo is home to roughly over 250 species and 2,000 animals. And with no current admission income, the nonprofit is looking for help. We're figuring things out as we go along. This is new territory for us. Uh, so only recently we realized this is going to go on for a while and, uh, and we, we're going to need some help from our community. Moving forward, the zoo will rely on donations to keep the animals happy and healthy. Uh, but the good news is the animals are getting a, as good a care as they always get, which is top of the line care. Our keepers are so dedicated and passionate and they are here every day. I'm making sure the animals have everything they need. If looking to donate, you can just head to their website and click on the support tab. There are ways you can support the zoo right through our website. We try to make it as easy as we can for you. But there's more. The zoo offered free compost this week for you and your family. Super rich in nutrients and it's going to make your plants thrive. Starting a new garden could keep you and your family busy at home while getting some fresh air. The zoo will also be posting fun educational activities for your kids on their website. We're going to be aligning them with the science standards for the older grades. And we've also got some preschool activities that we're doing for our younger kids. Danielle Giuliano, Channel 4, The Local Station. The Jacksonville Zoo wants to thank the community for its support. You can find ways to donate on this story on our website, newsforjax.com.